Hello people, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how I made this cable stitch sweater. I have always been intimidated by the cable stitch until recently when I tried it out and I, I was shocked of how simple it is. I think not all of them are simple, but I found this uh, pattern that is quite easy to make and yeah i'm now obsessed so i'll be showing you how i made this sweater it's easy you can make it in your size any size you can make it longer you can make it shorter bigger or smaller whatever you like i'll be telling you which measurements you need to take for your size and you can take your own measurements and you know make whatever size you like so please feel free to make any adjustments that you might like so this is what i'm going to be using in this tutorial i used uh, milk cotton yarn i used three colors you can use any yarn that you have this is what i had available it's ilauke something i got this over amazon milk cotton yarn it doesn't give many details so yeah it feels like a medium weight yarn when i'm using it, it feels like a medium weight yarn doesn't mention this uh for the hook size i'll be using a 5.0 millimeter hook and of course you need a tape measure this is the most important tool for me tape measure and yeah so let's start we are going to start with one panel we'll make this front panel and back panel so we're going to start with one panel and you are going to make a, a slip knot then make a chain equivalent to your shoulder to shoulder measurements plus four inches so mine is 15 inches when i measure from one shoulder to the other shoulder plus four inches i'll make 19 inches but please remember in this pattern it's going to be a multiple of eight plus four chains eight plus four chains multiple of eight plus four chains all right so i made my chains and i made 68 chains uh, equivalent to 19 inches that's my shoulder shoulder measurements plus four inches okay it can be less or it can be more it could be like 18 or it could be like you know something like that 20 inches doesn't matter just around the same four inches around four inches that's what you need to add so for row one we are going to skip the first chain and go into the second chain and make a single crochet skip the first chain go into the second chain and make a single crochet then go into your next chain make your second single crochet go into your third chain make your third single crochet and for row one it's going to be a row of single crochets so you are going to make one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of this row one single crochet in every chain sorry i'll see you at the end all right so i got to the end and this is going to be my last single crochet and then we are going to work on row two so for row two you're going to chain two then we're going to turn our work and this chain two is going to count as a stitch so we will not work in here we will not work this because this already counts as a stitch and we'll go into the next stitch and make a double crochet okay so for row two it's a double crochet in every stitch go into every stitch with a double crochet yeah we are working under two loops all right so double crochets all the way to the end and i'll meet you so that we can finish this row and start on another all right so i've come to the end of my row two and uh, this is my second last stitch right here and on top of that chain one that's where we work our last stitch you see these two loops here don't forget that okay so i work my last stitch here and we are going to our third row so our third row is going to be a single crochet row so we'll only chain one turn our work and work 
a single crochet in here so the chain one doesn't count as a stitch so we'll just work in that very first stitch okay and then we'll go into our next stitch and make a single crochet next stitch make a single crochet and this is going to be a row of single crochet so our first row was single crochet second row was double crochet third row is single crochet and next is going to be double crochet but now that's when we'll start our pattern for the cable stitch okay i'll see you at the end i'm at the end and this is my second last stitch so i'll work in this one here and because this chain was our counting as a stitch we'll have to work on top of that chain too please do not forget this make a, a single crochet on top of the chain too please don't forget that otherwise your work will not be straight so chain two turn your work and we are now going to work on our row four this time we'll work the cable stitch so our chain two always counts as a stitch right so we're going to just this is a stitch skip this first one here and now go into this stitch here and make a double crochet so this is now our second double crochet one two and then we'll work our third double crochet this is our third stitch here okay so now we will work our cable stitch so you're going to make a treble which means you yarn over twice like this so we have these loops on the hook three loops so this is one, this is two, this is three, right? Three, we have three up here. So now we're going to work in the fourth stitch. So you're going to go under the fourth double crochet below and make a treble. You have three loops, yarn through the first two. You have three remaining, yarn through the... And then you have two loops remaining and then yarn through all. This is our first treble. So we're going to make our second treble yarn over twice. Though so skip the next stitch, skip this next double crochet, right? This is one, skip the next and go into the third one and make a treble under it. So you have four loops, right? Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's our second treble, yeah? Then yarn over twice and we're going to make our third treble which will be right next to it. So make your treble. This is our third one, right? Now our fourth one, we are going to work it into the stitch that we left behind, all right? So this stitch that we skipped here, we go back to it now to work our fourth one. So you're going to go under it and make a treble then we are now going to work our fifth treble which will be at the front so we have four ready now our fifth one which will be our last treble will be in this stitch all right so you see how it looks like at the back of course we have skipped uh five single crochets because we have five trebles here at the back it will be five single crochets not worked in two three four five so our next stitch is going to be a normal normal double crochet okay so yarn over only once and then make a double crochet that's how it looks it's easy right it's five trebles it's easy right so this is our first double crochet we're going to make our second one and then our third double crochet and then we repeat the treble thing one two three so of course we are skipping three stitches below and we'll work in the fourth one right one two three and in the fourth one we'll make our treble okay so under here we make our treble this will be our first treble right and then you yarn over twice and then skip the next stitch and walk into the third one so we are always skipping the second one so walk into the third one walk a treble then yarn over twice go into the very next one walk a treble 
and then the third this is the third treble so the fourth treble is going to be in the one that we skipped go back to the stitch that we had skipped and work your fourth treble all right and then our fifth treble will be in our last stitch four and then now work our fifth one here And then next is a normal double crochet you work three double crochets and then we repeat three double crochets and then repeat the trebles okay it's easy right or we skip five single crochets okay so one more last time all right so we skip these three in the fourth one we make a treble that is our first treble then there are three in between every treble thingy so we're going to skip our next one and work into the third one with our second treble and right next to it we'll go ahead and make our third treble and then yarn over twice and our fourth treble will be back to where we skipped this stitch and then our fifth one will be in this last stitch here and then we'll go ahead and make three double crochets so this is how the pattern is it's that easy go all the way I'll meet you at the end okay so I'm coming to the end and this is my last five trebles so I'm now going to make C, uh, double crochet sorry so this is my first one uh, second and my last one so you should have three double crochets at the end so we are done that was easy right this is how it looks at the back and this is the front so now our next row is going to be a row of single crochets right so you chain one turn your work and you are going to work single crochet in the very first stitch here that one work a single crochet in there because the chain one doesn't count as a stitch right then you're going to go into the next one and work single crochets all the way to the end and i'll meet you at the end so that we can start on the treble row again i show you how it's done again all right so i'm coming to the end and this is my second last stitch like i said do not forget i'm serious do not forget this single crochet on top of this chain too otherwise your work would be i don't know something that is not what we're doing so don't forget don't forget don't forget so chain two turn your work and of course the chain two counts as a stitch so we are not going to work in that very first one this counts as a stitch so we are going to work in the next stitch here and make our second double crochet it's then our third one our third stitch so it's three stitches and then we start on the treble so you're going to yarn over twice and where we had our first treble that's where you will work your treble now we we'll go under it and work a treble and like before we are going to yarn over twice and skip the second treble so skip this next stitch right and into the third stitch that's where we are going to work so i'll go into the third stitch here make my treble and then go into the very next one make my third treble and right after that for my fourth treble i will go back to the one that i skipped this one and work my fourth treble so go under it like this and work your fourth treble And then of course i'll work my last one in that very last one this is my fifth one easy right it's like a repetition of this so now we're going to make three double crochets that's one 
uh, that is the second one and my third double crochet and then we repeat so you find you skipped five single crochets up here so you yarn over twice and into your very first treble under it make a treble and then you're going to skip your next one but work into the third one skip one go into the next one and work a treble that is our second treble and for the third treble we are going to work right next to it and for the fourth one we go back to the one that we skipped this stitch here that we skipped and we work our fourth treble there and once we are done then we will work our last treble which is the fifth treble right here so this is how it looks we have these two straight and the three are doing their thing in the middle so next is the three double crochets and then we repeat the treble so we have this straight one here and then we are working the three that are uh, skip this work your second one in the third stitch and work your third one in the fourth stitch and then for your fourth treble you are going to go back to the, the stitch that you skipped which was our second stitch there and work your fourth treble and then you go and work your fifth treble in that last one so tell me tell me that this is not easy really it's easy right so from here it's a repetition you're just going to repeat this repeat this repeat this until you get to the height that you want you know measure yourself from like the, your collarbone to where you want your sweater to reach and know what that is so you're going to just be repeating a row of single crochets and then a row of trebles a row of single crochets a row of trebles until you get to the height that you want right just measure tape, take a tape measure say oh i want 15 inches long or oh, i want 14 i want 10 i want 20 you know and then i'll meet you once you have that height and this is already my other uh, panel this is already this is how it looks like in the end i changed colors i was doing about 10 10 rows per color but yeah changing colors is up to you you might want to do it in one color this is totally up to you this is how the inside looks like it's easy it's simple straightforward right so do your thing we have the straight ones these ones and then we have the three doing their treble thing in the middle or is three stitches at the beginning and or is three stitches at the end if you want to change color i advise you change it on the single crochet row like i did here then it blends in well on this other side okay so if you want to change color single crochet row do that in a different color and then like that all right so do that and i'll meet you once you have the height of the sweater that you want take measurements up to here and i'll see you okay so i am done with mine and let's see i did 14 inches long okay i'm a size small by the way i didn't mention that i'm a size small no extra small <laughs> i'm extra small but this can also fit a small okay this can also fit a small so extra small and small you can do my measurements for the rest you might just want to take your own okay so do two panels once you're done do two panels so once you have they are very identical the same number of stitches that you had on the other one should be the same okay all right so once you have your two panels we are going to join them together and mine is about 20 inches you know as i was working my yarn is stretchy it's milk cotton yarn stretches so 
I started with 19, but in the end, I have 20. So take that measurement in the end, see what you have. Neckline, I'm going to leave seven inches. You should do the same, seven inches. And so I'll get seven inches, 20 minus seven inches. What I have remaining is 13 inches. So make this calculation. What you have, subtract 7 inches. What I have is 13 remainder. I divide it by 2. When I divide by 2, it means it is 6 and a half. So each part, each side will be 6 and a half on this side, 6 and a half on that side, and in the middle where we have our neckline will be 7, and the whole total is 20. Okay? Do you get it? Take, take measure from corner to corner. Subtract 7 inches, what you have remaining, divide by 2, and that's what we'll sew in at both sides. Okay, so 6.5 inches, I counted my stitches up to 6.5 inches, and that's why I put a stitch marker, right? And the same in stitches I counted on the other side because I want to leave the same number of stitches. Since the other side is already 6.5, I know that number of stitches will be same 6.5 on this side. So I also counted that number of stitches. And that's where I'll put my second mark, a stitch marker. And what we have in the middle, which was 7 inches, will be our neckline. Okay, so... My stitch markers are there, so this in between here is a neckline. I'll just join the two sides, join this side to the back, right? Join this side also to the back, and I'll leave this open because that's our neckline. All right, I hope I'm clear. So we are just going to turn this the, um, inside out and join them together. Okay, the back panel and the front panel. That's at the shoulder. Okay. All right. So this is where I have my stitch marker. I'm going to join from this side to where I have my stitch marker. That's the shoulder part. Okay. Leaving out, of course, the neckline. So I'm just going to go on top of this chain two here and slip stitch. Then I'll go into this first stitch. And this first stitch on the other side. And make a slip stitch. So I'm going to be working with slip stitches here. So go into every stitch, the front and the back, and join using a slip stitch. So slip stitch slip stitch all the way through to where you have your stitch marker So for the neckline, if you're doing a size like an extra large, please leave about 8 inches. Just not so much, just 8 inches. Extra large XXL, you know, those sizes. From extra large to upwards, leave 8 inches. From extra small to large, leave 7 inches for the neckline. Okay? So, slip stitch all the way to the end to where you have your stitch marker. And this is where I have my stitch marker. I just take it out. Yeah. And then that's my last slip stitch there, then chain one and cut your yarn, pull through, cut your yarn, and that's how you join it. So then I'll just go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. This other side, I'll do the same thing here, join it together and I'll meet you back. So I have my two joined together here and here, and then we have our neckline here in the middle, right? 
So now we want to work the sleeves, right? So for the sleeves, we are going to make measurements. Uh, I wanted to leave seven and a half uh, inches from top to for the arm, arm, arm hole. Yeah, for the arm hole, I wanted to leave 7.5 inches. But uh, as you can see, my my white yarn is almost done here, so I decided to just, yeah, it's almost 7.5, but just slightly above. I don't mind. So 7.5 inches for your armhole. And if you're doing a size large to, to above, then leave about 8.5 inches for your armhole. So 15 inches if you light straight. So 7.5 plus 7.5, that's about 15 inches all if i lie it straight like this but if it is folded and it's 7.5 okay so that will be my sleeve and you are going to mark where your sleeve will start and where it will end you know i will mark those 15 inches for me i know it is the white color and on on both sides so I went ahead ahead of you and did my one sleeve. This is how it looks, but I will definitely show you how I did that on my other side. And I only did the cable on this, like at the top of the sleeve. So we already had our stitch markers. If you did, mine were in white, at the end of white, right? So now I'm here and here. Okay. So... You already have yours and let's start on the sleeves. So I'm going to start working on the wrong side. Please let's work this row on the wrong side. It's the row of single crochets. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So we are working it on the wrong side. All right, so I'm just going to reattach my yarn and I'm working with the pink first, then make a single crochet in that very first stitch where I reattached my yarn, okay? Now pay attention to this. So this is my single crochet row, I mean double crochet row, and I'm going to work two single crochets. So in my next, which is a single crochet stitch, right, I'll work only one single crochet. And my next stitch is the double crochet stitch, this one, I'll work two single crochets. Then the next stitch, I'll work one single crochet, because it's the single crochet stitch. And then my next one was the double crochet stitch. It's longer, so I'll work two single crochets. Then one single crochet. And two single crochets. One single crochet. And two single crochets. So basically that's going to be it. So where I had my... Uh, a uh, single crochet i'll work one single crochet and where i had a, a, a double crochet i'll work two single crochets in that double crochet stitch okay until i get to where i have my other stitch marker this is how it looks single crochet row double crochet row okay so we are going to be working two one two one two one until i get to the other side then i'll meet you there okay of course, this is where we joined. I'll just put one single crochet in here at the top, then go to the other side until I'm here. All right. Okay, so I'm coming to the end. I remove my stitch marker here. And since it is a single crochet at the end, I'll make one single crochet. So our one is done. Our sleeve starts here and ends here. Okay, so for row two, it's going to be the same pattern. So for row two, we're going to chain two and we will make double crochets. So I only want to make the cable stitch at the top. So we are going to do double crochets, chain two, and don't, this counts as a stitch, right? Don't work here, go into the next stitch and make a double crochet. And you're going to make double crochets in every stitch from here until you get to the end, just like we did when we started our panels. 
uh, so you're going to work all the way to the end with double crochets and I will meet you once you get to the end all right so I'm coming to the end and uh, this is what I have so my last stitch is going to be this one and I'll make my last double crochet then our next row is going to be a row of single crochet so I'll chain one turn my work and this very very fast stitch I'll work my first single crochet And then going to the next one work a single crochet work my third single crochet then my fourth single crochet and i'll work single crochets in every stitch until i get to the end i'll meet you at the end so that we can start on our treble all right so i'm coming to the end and like before this is not my last stitch so my last stitch will be on top of the chain too, right here. Do not forget that, please. So this is going to be my last single crochet. Okay, don't forget this. All right, so I'm going to chain two, turn my work. But we want to start working our, our cable at the top. So what we'll do is identify the five stitches that we want to work our cable stitch, right? So this is where I joined my two panels, right? Here, this is our shoulder, where our shoulder is. So I want five stitches here. So I'll just go. This is my first one, which is in the very middle, right? One, and then count two stitches to the left and two stitches to the right. So that makes it five, right? So the very top, then two stitches at the right, two stitches at the left, and then just mark it so you'll know that's where you work your five stitches of of a uh, cable stitch so i'm going all the way up to there so i'm going to work my first double crochet in here and then my second and my third and yeah work a row of double crochets until you get to where you marked your five stitches i'll meet you there Okay, so I'm coming to where my stitches are. That's my fifth one right there. So I'll, this is going to be my last double crochet. And now I'll yarn over twice. Yarn over twice and make my first treble. So how do I make a treble? Go under this previous double crochet and make a treble. Yarn over twice, skip your next double crochet. Go into the third one, make a treble under it. It's like a front post treble. So next one is going to be your third front post treble. And I'm going to yarn over twice, make my fourth one in the stitch that we skipped there. And then the fifth one will be our last one here. Yeah. And that's it. So we only have one, how do they call it? A cluster of trebles, of cables, I guess. So I'm going to go into my next stitch, make a double crochet. And from now on, it will be double crochets from here to the end. Okay, so five single crochets skipped here. And yeah, so I'll get to the end. Once you get to the end, with your double crochets it's the same pattern like we did for the panel so once you get to the end chain one then work a row of single crochets get to the end come back with double crochets do your five trebles and continue 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 until you have the height of your sleeve measure from your upper like upper bicep to where you want your cuff to be okay that's the height that you will do for your sleeve measure from upper bicep biceps i think that's how they call it until your calf then we'll come and do the calf ribbing okay and this is how it will look if you want to change color you can still do a change after every 10 rows yeah i'll see you once you're done all right so i'm done and i did a total of 15 inches long this is how it looks we have a cable here 
and normal double crochets and I did 15 inches so now we want to join everything together and of course you know work on the cuff right so I folded everything like this then we'll work here and then go also join this side but we want to work on the wrong side right so you're going to turn this to the wrong side fold it nicely and then we join everything together all right i will be using different colors for the different colors that i used i don't want to mix okay so i'll start with the pink because i'm joining pink here and I'm starting from the where I ended off the sleeve so I'm working with the sleeve now where there's a single crochet I'll make one single crochet and where we have two where we have the double crochet I'll make two double crochet I mean two single crochets sorry so I'll make two stitches in here and where we have the single crochet, which is our next stitch, I'll make only one single crochet. And the next stitch is a double crochet. So I'll make, in that stitch, I'll make two single crochets. I'm working on the wrong side, okay? So one single crochet. And two single crochets. One single crochet i will not close this off because i want to change color i'm going into the white and i don't want to take pink into the white so i'll cut this off then introduce my white color and just pull through with the white and then oh i am using the wrong color <laughs> it should be the pink and white So I'll just tie this and continue with the white with a single crochet. So in this double crochet row, I'll make two single crochets. And then one single crochet in this next stitch. Two single crochets. And then one single crochet. So just continue doing this. This is how it looks on this other side. So go all the way up under the arm and then to the other part of the sweater until here, okay? So I'm done, I went all the way down and this is how it looks on the wrong side. And when you turn inside out, this is the right side. This is how it looks. Okay, so now we are going to work the cuff. And for the cuff, I use the front post and uh, back post. So I'm going to reattach my yarn. Right here where we had done the joining. make two chains and how we're going to work this is we'll make reduction so I want to work in these two stitches at once so I'll go in like this go out of the next stitch and make a double crochet so I've worked in two stitches at once okay so I worked in this and got out of here so next one is going to be this I go in from this point go out from the next stitch and then make a double crochet next is this one so i worked in here and got out here so leave that alone now i'll work these two so go in from one stitch and get out from the other stitch from the next stitch and make a double crochet 
So just watch what, what, I'm, what I'm doing. So worked in these two. So now these two next. So go in, go out like that. Go in in one stitch, go out in the next. And then go in, go out and make a double crochet. So we are making a reduction. I'm working like in two stitches at one time. Okay, because our cuff is too big and I wanted you to make it smaller. So I'm reducing every stitch. Okay, so you can see. So it's like now half of the stitches that we had before. We made a reduction in every stitch and you're going to continue doing this till you get to the end. Okay, so I went all around and I'm back here. As you can see, it looks smaller than before. So we are going to end this row with a slip stitch on top of the first chain two, right? And then for our next row, it's going to be a row of front post and back post. So we'll chain two and over. And in the first stitch here, we're going to make a front post. So I go under it with my hook like this and make a front post. Next is going to be a back post. So I'll come from the back and go over it with my hook. This one here, go over it with my hook like this to make a back post. And our next stitch is going to be a front post. So I'll go under it. Next is a back post. I'll go from behind over it. And yeah, that's how you do a front post and back post. And we're going to do this all around. And I'll meet you at the end of the row so that we can start on row three of the front post and back post. I'm coming to the end and this is a front post. So I'll make a back post here and my next stitch will be a front post. So to close this row off, we round off, we are going to make a slip stitch on, on top of the chain two. Make a slip stitch on top of the chain two. So you're going to chain two for our third row. And where we have a front post, we are going to go ahead and make a front post. Where we have a back post, we will make a back post. And then a front post. And a back post. And this is going to be the pattern for this round and you're going to do as many rounds as you wish. I did about six rounds. Okay, go round and round and round until you have your cuff. This is how mine looks like. Okay. All right, so I'm done with my cuff and just going to slip stitch on top of the chain two, cut off your yarn and go ahead and do the next sleeve. Then once you're done with the sleeve, do the cuff and you come back when you have all this looking like this. And then I show you how to do the bottom. Okay, and of course the neckline. All right, so for the bottom, it's going to be like that we did with the cuff. So you're going to make reductions so you are going to be going into one and getting out of the next stitch and make your double crochet and then go in into this is our first one right go in second and make a double crochet go into the third one like that and you're going to go into every stitch like that so but if you want your waist band to be a little bit wider then you can always do like one two reductions and then the third one make a normal double crochet without reducing one two then because because i'm reducing like by half you might want to reduce like by a third only okay so if you want to reduce like by only a third and want it much bigger, then don't make a reduction in every stitch. Make like a reduction in like after every two stitches. Okay, so like, let me show you. Okay, so I'll do like and 
and just make a double crochet like you know go in like that and the next one make a normal double crochet without going into two stitches just by going into one okay like reduce two and then make a normal double crochet reduce two and make a normal double crochet but i want mine to be smaller like you see in my picture so i will reduce every stitch i hope that was clear so we are going to make a reduction in every stitch like we did for the for the sleeve cuff for the cuff okay once you get to the end i'll meet you again to the end of this round so same thing like we did for the cuff so i'm coming to the end of the car of the <laughs> of the round and of course we close it off with a slip stitch on top of the chain two like this and then we're now going to start with the front post and back post so i'll chain two and make a front post in that very first stitch and go your next stitch as a back post then your next stitch will be a front post and then a back post and we already did this so you know how to do this go all around with front post and back post front post and back post do your first row do your second row do your third row until you get to what you want i did a total number of five rows okay i'll meet you once you're done same pattern as this right so shouldn't be a problem all right, so I'm done and I have these five rows, right? This is how it looks. And yeah, so we are going to do the neckline. Okay, so it's going to be a turtle egg, so we are going to work it on the wrong side because I want the right side. We show that when we fold it, it falls to the right side, right? Since it's the turtleneck. So you are going to reattach your yarn and you're going to chain two. And of course, for this time, we are not making any reduction. So we are going to work double crochet in every stitch, double crochet in every stitch, no reductions at all. So I'll just go into my very first stitch here and work a double crochet. I have two loops there. I carry this yarn with me. So go into every stitch with a double crochet. Like that. And go all around. Let me bring this close so that you can see. It's in every stitch, one double crochet in every stitch, one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the round. We are going around our neckline, right? So go all around. I'll meet you here. So I went all around, and this is how it looks. This is our first round and of course this is going to be my last stitch here and then we close it off with a slip stitch on top of the chain too. And then for the next round it's going to be front post and back post. So it's going to be a front post here and then a back post. front post and back post front post and back post and yeah you already know this go around um, I think I'm going to turn this inside out because it's giving me trouble then it will be easier to work okay until you're done 
so i went and did so many rounds about nine rounds and i have five inches right so it's five inches i'm will I be able to fold this and yeah so in your ends and once you're done this is how it should look like okay it's pretty cool right yeah so i hope you really like it i do like the sweater i'm going to do more with the cable stitch <laughs> i was afraid of it but turns out it's easy so yeah give this video a thumbs up please share like and follow me on my social media platforms it's ac crochets on instagram on tiktok on facebook and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next tutorial bye